comer? Devagar. Honestly, I feel like now we can actually say that we are back. We are officially back, yes. But it feels like, for some reason, it feels like it's the first episode of like a new season. <laughs> and it also feels like it's just the first episode we ever recorded. Because when you add the element of video, which, yes, if you've been listening for the last couple of weeks, yeah. or should I say months at this point, um, yeah. and you've been thinking, you know, how many other times are you going to say that they're going to get back on YouTube and stuff? Well, we are back. We are back with video. It took us a while, you know. It took guys, us a while for good reason, though. There's a lot going on. You know, it's not because we were just lazy and not trying to, like, do the whole YouTube thing, which it is a whole, it's like a whole different job doing it is, it is. the YouTube thing. It's like several hours in addition to the work. Yeah, definitely. Do. But I'm excited to be back because... Um, so many people ask when is the video coming back and yeah. i'm just like uh, it's just a different experience like yeah. you you are missing a whole layer to just the experience of oh. watching like or listening to a podcast yeah it's true and it feels like there's a, like a, a third person oh for us for us yeah, like right in now. a room right now yeah because normally we wouldn't have like all these lights and everything but welcome back to the what's the juice podcast yes, i feel like back. we need to just get into it yeah let's get into that so, 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 um, I'm your host, Ali Zaita. I'm a little crusty. I, I <laughs> You're a little crusty. That's not a good. No, 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 no. Like, ru- oh, wow. Do I you meant- want to restart? No, no, no. I meant okay. to say rusty. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, crusty is not a, a yeah. great adjective to use for yourself. I think, um, it's it's um it's hot in here. <laughs> Why is Yoni shy, guys? I'm not shy. I'm just like trying to like reintroduce myself. You know, a lot happened you since then. You think people forgot what you look like? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I have I have black hair now. If uh, you guys don't like follow us on Instagram or anything, mm. I used to have blonde hair the last time we were. Oh, recording. people remember the blonde era. Yeah. Yeah. So let's. I mean, let's not forget it. I think like the blonde era was worth what it was no, it but I'm very glad to be back to this it was important because you were going through I was going through something and we'll we'll talk about it we'll have a whole episode we'll have actually. a whole dedicated episode okay loyalty what does loyalty mean to you okay let's just jump right into yeah, that yeah today we are tackling I would say like a pretty significant topic mm-hmm. the idea of loyalty can I think it's like not thrown around lightly you know it's like a deep important thing in people's lives it's it's not okay true you know true yeah. like you wouldn't think anyone is like yeah i don't really care if anyone's loyal like nobody says that. i feel like loyal is not just a thing that you just say it's something that you just are oh yeah because the moment i have to say i am loyal that why means do, you why have do, to defend yourself like why do you have to say it yeah yeah so i think we should define what loyalty is if people don't know okay just to like get get uh get situated you know so Loyalty is a strong feeling of support or allegiance. Mm -hmm. So like support or basically like I'm going to stick through anything you do with you. It's like I'm always going to be on your side. I'm always going to have your back. Mm -hmm. So that's what loyalty means. Okay. Through like good, like better or worse. Yeah. I mean, I would say that's more in like marriage. Okay. But people say that with loyalty But then I would say, yeah. So would you say most people when they think about loyalty... It's like unconditional, right? Um, I mean, that's I don't know if that's what the definition no, actually I'm says. What people think about in reality. People like, think that yes, like if I'm loyal to you, whatever you do, I'm gonna be right there with you as a good friend, and I'm not gonna mm, let you down. Mm, okay, I'm not gonna let you down. I'm not gonna turn on you. Yes, etc. So loyalty is basically like unconditional support of that one person right i think most people know what loyalty is but i get it maybe for those who didn't know this is what it, this is what it means okay because to wanna... someone no to someone who knows what loyalty is it's like okay cool y'all don't have to explain to me what loyalty is i just feel like it's good to establish so we're all on the right page okay true now i want to ask you something are you sure that you clicked play on the camera i did should 100% i 100 percent sure i'll just go double check but i did We haven't done this in a long time, you know, as you said, we're a little crusty, so... Rusty, that's like my biggest nightmare, just to like start an episode and then 30 minutes in, not no, recording. No, no. It's, it's like the worst, like yeah. the worst. It's happened to us once before. One time. Yeah. We had to just pretend like we were recording it for the first time. I know. What were you going to say? No, I was just going to say, so with loyalty, are you, is there anyone other than me in life that you feel like you're loyal to? 
Oh, yeah. I mean, of course. I'm okay. loyal to... Let's break it down. Okay, hold on. So let's break it down to loyalty with friends and then loyalty with significant others mm-hmm. and then loyalty with family. Right. Would you say there's like loyalty to yourself? No, right? No, because you, you're already... You should be loyal to yourself. Yeah, like regardless. how are you, would you not be loyal? How would you let yourself down? How would you abandon your, <laughs> yourself? Yeah, 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 yeah. I would say, honestly, whenever I think of loyalty, the main ones are definitely like loyalty in a relationship and then loyalty with friends. In a romantic relationship? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. But that's different. I feel like loyalty in a relationship is a little bit different than loyalty with friendship. No, it is. But I'm saying I don't really think about loyalty with like family because I kind of just loyalty with families. Like I assume like most of it's the time families like yeah hopefully right because it's not it's like you were born in that family like that relationship is like already kind of like fusled together i don't know if that's the right word probably not but it's like (laughs) it's like uh it's like loyalty comes with the territory versus like you didn't choose like to be in a relationship or to be in a friendship is like you're actively choosing to be with that person Mm -hmm. in that kind of relationship okay so it's like the loyalty is like you have to constantly practice it yeah versus with family it's kind of like an automatic like obviously you're my family i lived with you you're my mom you're my daddy or whatever and then i'm their kid so Mm. it's kind of obvious so which one do you want to start with you want to start with loyalty with let's do let's do relationships let's do friendships first (laughs) Okay. okay loyalty with your friend so let's say for example you have a friend and that's your best friend and you're, you're loyal to him or her uh-huh right if what has to take place for you to be like i can't do this anymore like there has to be Wait, i mean i can't at least, do what anymore no i believe that there has to be a line drawn somewhere at some point in terms of in terms of my loyalty so if you go ahead and kill somebody my loyalty is out the window that moment. Yeah. No, 100%. Is that bad to say? Hold on. Let me. No. You I mean, someone. you know, you know what I think too? <laughs> <laughs> like movies love to make it this thing of like, they show, like I watch a lot of TV shows that are really dramatic and they always show like Murder this mysteries. person that killed this other person. And then there's this other person that's like really loyal to them. So they're like, oh, Like, immediately, they're just totally cool with, like, covering it up for them and just going along with it. And, like, we're going to get through this and we're going to, like, make sure nobody finds out. So, you go there and I'll clean it up. Honestly, that is a good-ass friend. No, no. Think about it. Think about it. That friend really... Okay, but in reality, though... In reality, nobody wants to be in that trouble. Right? Because by you covering that shit up and hiding and driving away with that person, you're putting yourself... In you're, actual, you're, you're implicating yourself in whatever they did. Period. Yeah, yeah. You're so now you're involved in the case. <laughs> yeah, but there's also other scenarios of like, for example, right? Let's take a, a scenario where you, me, and you are friends with another couple. Okay. And you find out that the guy in the couple is cheating on the girl. All right. Okay. You tell me. So then we both know, but the girl doesn't have any idea that the guy is cheating. Does the guy know that we know? Yeah, he told you. Okay. That's stupid, but okay. So basically he's like, Yoni, you know, like he's basically trying to like justify that he's cheating and you guys are friends. Mm-hmm. So, he's, so he you're like basically keeping, me. you're keeping your loyalty towards him as like, I'm not going to tell your girl who okay. I'm kind of also friends with. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not going to tell her. But this whole time, basically, both of you and I know that he is cheating on her. But when we're all hanging out together, he's like pretending as if he's not. And we're all good friends. Yeah. Damn. Okay, I have an answer in my head. What do you do in that situation? Do you tell the girl? <sighs> I'm sorry, but I tell the girl. I tell her. What? I tell her. Are you kidding me? You're going to tell the I would 100% tell her. Are you kidding? You're I not would even... hate being that person 
that is like everyone think like everyone knows something about you and in regard to you but you are clueless you're not going to try to talk to the guy first and at least try to advise him to tell her otherwise you will no i would but if he keeps no. saying that he's not going to tell her then i okay gonna but tell you didn't even say that you just I feel said like that's I'm, a given that i would not. probably tell him to tell her <laughs> Okay, but the fact that you say probably, you have to say what you're going to do step by step. Okay, so yeah, I would try to tell him, look, I can't take this anymore. Like, I know what the fuck you're doing. So you better tell her. And if you don't, I will. I'm going to say that. And if he still doesn't tell her, I'm going to tell her. Period. <laughs> okay, Karen. <laughs> that's not even a Karen. That's that's the opposite of Karen. That's like someone that is like no, loyal. No, 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 I that's, get it. That's loyalty. I get it, but don't you think that it's none of your business? It's their relationship. Like, don't you think maybe you should give them some time to figure that shit out? There's clearly something happening with them. There's no them figuring it out. It's him figuring it out. Okay, why don't you give him some time then? For what? <laughs> give him some time to... I'm not even... It could be the other way around too. It sounds like I'm defending the man in the relationship, <laughs> but I'm just saying like, Give him some time. We know what you did. Obviously, you told Yoni, and Yoni told me, right? Yeah. Give him a timeline. Look, you got two weeks to figure this shit out, or else we're going to tell them or tell her. That's To me, that's the right thing to do. I'm not just going to say, oh, I'm about to go tell her right now. What if he's trying to figure it out? Figure what out? You cheated. Okay, trying to, <laughs> trying to figure out. Okay, so to you, it stops by he cheated. If I find out that someone is cheating on someone else and we're hanging out with them actively all the time in the group of four right you're gonna go tell him right away i'm gonna tell him hey i know what you're doing and you either tell her what you're doing or i'm gonna tell her what you're doing and how much time do you are you giving him i don't know <laughs> fuck <laughs> this is like it's getting too uh it's getting too specific okay but basically what i'm saying is like i mm. wouldn't like that to me is loyalty versus the other one where it's like I'm not going to tell on him because he's my friend. But that could also be some people think that's loyalty because they don't want to hold the other person account other person accountable. Yeah, but that's that's like using loyalty for like the wrong reasons. Mm. In my opinion. Okay. Wow. Like I don't think loyalty should be used to basically help someone do something that is clearly wrong yeah yeah no if you're doing some crazy shit i'm not just gonna be you can't just do anything you want and just expect you only to be there and just say all right cool we're so gonna figure this shit out together what are some scenarios with friends in which you would keep your loyalty you wait in which you would break your loyalty <sighs> um like with your guy friends specifically. Okay, with my guy friends. Because you don't really have a lot of girlfriends, anyways. I do. I do. I have some girlfriends there, but I definitely I would. I'm not loyal to anybody. That's <laughs> like you know, you're okay. the you're, you're the only girl that I'm loyal to. Okay, okay. okay. I'm not even asking you like that. <laughs> okay, so like think about or your guy sister. friends, right? right? Yeah. Um, my guy friends. What would they have to do for me to break the loyalty? Mm -hmm. <sighs> I mean, like if you find out that one of your friends is like is like if one of my stealing money from another friend or something oh what the f that's so bad <laughs> i'm just trying to make up scenarios you know no 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 if, if if one of my friends is stealing some shit yeah and i know the other person that he is stealing from yeah i'm gonna talk to my friend right the the the, the thief right and tell him that he needs to stop. And or if else, he doesn't, and he's gonna be like, "Yo, bro, no, you got me right." Like, no, no, you won't no, tell no, 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 no. Because I got the other person too. And so, I'm, which one do you choose? No, no, I'm not choosing. I'm just gonna say, if you don't figure your shit out, if you don't stop fucking stealing, because that's bad either way. Yeah. I'm gonna tell the other person. That's it. It's simple as that. Okay, so you would break your loyalty. If yeah, you but loyalty is something that I can break. Yeah. That, so it's not unconditional. No. Yeah, I agree. To me, I think. Cause you you gotta have morals, yo. Like you, you can't just do whatever and then expect the other person to be like, "Oh, I'm loyal to you, so I won't say anything." And it's just like it goes against what you believe in. Yeah, I can't do that. I'm sorry. Like, so I'm gonna give you a scenario, right? If someone goes to jail, okay. <laughs> listen, no, no, just let me do this, right? Yeah. Let's say your best friend goes to jail, mm -hmm. and you know what happened that night, but you're not in jail. Oh, okay. You know what happened. 
like are they in jail for the like rightfully or wrongfully no wrongfully oh so they they didn't do what they were arrested for no okay wait what are you talking about they're they got arrested rightfully as in like justified or it was no wrong. rightfully they oh, okay so they actually up. did some shit yes okay and you got away but were you also doing something <laughs> yes but oh, you got away okay now and so so uh, no sorry let's say you're the friend you in guys. jail no no i'm so sorry you're the one in jail okay okay and you the whole group did some messed up things right you're the only one that ended up in jail and they tell you alia instead of giving you 20 years in jail we're gonna give you 10 but you gotta tell me who else was there mm -hmm. and you're loyal to your friends are you doing the whole 20 or are you gonna snitch on your friends are you yo it's it's kind of hard 20, because 10 year difference is what the lot. fuck would i be doing to get 20 years in jail it's it's an example hypothetically you did something they gave you 20 would i snitch on my friends i don't really have friends like that no i'm just trying to really put myself in that situation okay but okay you answer the question what would you do <laughs> you I, was, I feel like no i just feel like you have more friends in that way where it's like that would do some shit no <laughs> what the fuck are you trying to say <laughs> No, it's like I don't have that many friends that are like so close, you know? No, but like can't you just like hypothetically try to picture that? No. Okay, maybe you're just scared to answer. I can answer. Just go ahead. If I'm in jail and they tell me, you only, instead of doing 50 years, you'll only do 10 years. Okay, you change it from 20 to 10, but okay. Okay, if you only, if I can do 10 years less than what I'm supposed to, damn, that's kind of, I didn't expect you to turn the question on me because that's a... I'm sorry, but I would probably snitch low key. 20 and have, years? And I have a family and kids. I mean, now you're adding some. No, 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 honestly. Like, and I have a family and, and kids. And also, like, but then at the same time, think about it. They have family and kids too, probably. But okay, this scenario Yo, doesn't this really so matter, messed. honestly. Like, people Yo, are listening, like they're like, this, th like, who cares? You know, it's more about like day to day shit of like testing loyalty. No, no, I get it. I get it. I think it's just interesting. I want to know what people, like, what someone would do in this situation. Yeah. I feel like nobody would be able to really answer. Yeah, and, I hope, and I hope you're never in this situation. True. Um, day to day situations. I yeah, mean, like, can I give you a scenario? I've been yeah. waiting. Okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay. So, I've had this thing that's happened to me a few times where I kind of was like, I felt... So, listen. Oh, shit, you had this one already. Yeah, I was waiting for you to give me the stage. Oh. Give me the floor. <laughs> so... I'm going to do the thing that I do all the time and generalize. I mean, at this point, you guys... At this you point, just, you can't be mad at us for doing that, okay? Yeah. So, basically, there was this one time when I was, like, in a group of friends. But it wasn't really, like, a group. I was just, like, hanging out with, like, different... Several different girls. Friends, right? And... Do I know this story? I don't know. Um, and it's not like super specific. But basically, we were all hanging out together. And then this one of the girls was like telling a story about like something that she did. It was in regards to like a guy. Right. Mm -hmm. And basically, long story short. No, don't make scenario, it short. Don't I mean, make it short. no, because there's no point in going into details. I can tell you long story short that she was saying how she found herself like in a. I don't know if I want to say compromising position, but she found herself like in a position that she didn't want to be in with a guy. You know, it's like what he, is that? How? Like, uh, wait do you you do you not want to be specific because they might be listening? I mean, I guess yeah. Okay, okay. but it's not a big deal. Like basically, I, this is just for me to give an example. But what happened was. I personally was under the, I, my opinion on the situation she described is that it was also kind of her fault that she put herself in that situation. I know in this day and age, we really don't like to be giving, putting faults on women when they are in a situation with like a guy who is like maybe trying to take advantage of a situation, but it's like, you know, you invited me over type thing. Hmm. so you kind of get the picture of what i'm getting at right yeah so it's like girl yeah. invites guy up and then at one point she he starts to get weird to where she's not into it anymore and she's like okay i think you got to leave now and he doesn't want to leave first of all 
doesn't want to leave, that's already, he's, he's not riding ahead if someone tells you, I want you to leave and you're not leaving the right. house. But the, the problem is, she already knew that he was weird. And she said, come up to my apartment. She, right. So that's a scenario, okay? Why would you say, why would, why would she say that? Was she trying to get some? No, no, no. It was a very innocent, like, let me show you something in my apartment that she was like talking about. And anyways, but hmm. so that's a scenario, okay? Okay. And this friend is like telling the story to the whole group and stuff. And I'm really listening to this and thinking to myself, like, damn, it's kind of your fault. But I didn't say that because she, you know, like her experience of the situation wasn't good. She wasn't feeling good about it. Um, so it wouldn't really help for me to be like, well, you kind of fucked up low key. But you but you had that in your head the whole I time. I mean, yeah, because I think she did a little bit. You know, it's like you have to be a little bit more self-aware of your situation. But all yeah. the other girls were totally like. They were they were really showing prime lo- loyalty in that moment. In my in my opinion, they were very much like, "Oh my god, like he's so messed up," which is true because he was being weird. Um, he like, oh, he, he like, why would he put you in a situation like that? Put like, you in a- basically, they were like, "It's so not your fault." Like, don't blame yourself. Like, whatever. Was, in my was, head, I'm was, thinking... Was that girl blaming blaming herself, though? Well, she was kind of like, oh, I don't know. Like, I feel like it's my fault, but then I shouldn't blame myself. And then the other girls were like, yeah, you totally shouldn't blame yourself. It's all on him, blah, blah, blah. And I'm literally not saying shit because in my head, I want to be like, but also it's your fault, too. Like, So you were there at the table him. and you weren't saying anything. You were just kind of listening. Yeah, pretty much. Yo, if I was there, I feel like I would 100% know what you're thinking. And I was Damn. sitting there thinking to myself, like, is this a thing? Because it felt familiar. It, it also felt expected. It familiar felt like, in of way. course, they would, like, all the girls would be just... There's this thing with, like, women and loyalty where it's, like, as soon as it's a situation where it's, like, a girl and a guy and, like, something happens and, like, is it his fault? Is it her fault? Is it both their faults? Women tend to... Whatever the, the, the woman in the scenario does... In my experience, I've noticed women tend to always, like, no matter what the girl does, they take her side. They're automatically Mm. like, no, you're so right. He's so wrong. Blah, blah, blah. There's this kind of, like, But do they mean that? Or or is it just, like, a fake support? I think they genuinely believe that because it's, like, this type of... No, maybe not. I don't think so. I don't know. That's my impression. There had to be another person thinking, like... Okay, but why did you invite him over? That's like question number one. But I don't know if it's maybe this kind of thing where like we don't want to blame women when they're in a situation because it's like, why is he weird in the first place? No, no. Also, you knew he was weird, so why did you invite him up? To then feel weird and have to like feel uncomfortable yourself. Even if he wasn't weird, why do you, you invited him. He didn't say, oh, let me come up. Yeah, but then at the same time, it's like when you tell him to leave, he should leave. He should leave, but that's step number two. Right. Step number two doesn't happen without step number one. Right. Well, now we're getting into like that whole specific scenario. But basically, and in that moment, I felt like my loyalty, my expected loyalty was being tested where I felt like I am expected to take her side automatically. How how do you think it would have been if you didn't take and actually voiced it? I didn't. I was scared to like actually voice my opinion because I just knew that everybody else would be like, Alia, like, what are you talking about? Like, what are you saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? That would have <laughs> been that would have been like the feedback. Damn. So I just bit my tongue and didn't really say what I was thinking. You didn't say anything? I didn't say shit. I was just kind of like, mm. <laughs> I don't know wow. What I, was doing. I was just listening. But, I don't know. I, and that know. that type of thing has happened several times. And it's in a group of girls that I've noticed it. I don't know what I, Does that actually happen? Like You guys let us know. Hmm. Um We're gonna put a question on Spotify and yeah. so they can answer. If you are listening on Spotify, but also with the YouTube now that the video is on, oh, if right. you guys want to comment. Yes, please. This has just been my experience with like being and generally that's like another thing too, of like why I'm not a big fan of being in like big girlfriend groups because there's this kind of like 
um, group mentality that starts to form where like everybody just echoes everybody else's opinion and nobody checks each other. But I feel like there's also a lot of like drama about an, another girl. What do you mean? Like let's say it's a group of seven friends. Right. There's no way that all of them are just good and bad and just good friends without any i don't know i honestly have never really without any like oh my god did you hear what jessica said the other day it's always jessica i'm sorry it's just like the first name that come when i think (laughs) about an example that's just what what, no i get what you're saying i think in that scenario i feel like i would have said something maybe it's different with guys though like do you check your friends like if your friend says like some shit that you disagree with that sounds like fucked up yes you do yeah so if your friend tells you bro I started seeing this girl. No, but you, he's in a relationship. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no. I'm like, what are you doing? You got, you, you, you're in a relationship. You have a family. Would you say that? Yes, really? and they haven't done anything like that, so I haven't. It's, it's never really been like put to test. Mm. But if somebody tells me, "Yo, this is what I'm doing," I'm gonna be like, "Bro, what are you doing?" Really? Yes. I don't know why I have a hard time seeing that. Like, what I feel like you, guys would be so like. What do you think I'm going to do? No, knowing me, Yoni, you think I'm just going to be like, oh, damn, for real? So how was it? No, not that. But I feel like you'd be like, bro, that's crazy. And kind of not That's what's crazy. Else. What he's doing. Yeah, but like, is. you wouldn't get into it. You wouldn't be like, bro, like you shouldn't do that. I what? feel like you would just be like, bro, that's crazy. Stop saying bro so much. Because you, say, that's how you guys talk. I don't say bro that many times. You guys, I got to record you. You guys, when we first started <laughs> dating and let's say i'm hanging out with ali in the car and then one of my friends called calls me and i'm talking to him like i always talk to him right so he's bro this bro that it's just like it's normal you know right and and i don't talk to you like that because obviously you're not my bro right right so then after i hang up ali looks at me and she's like why you gotta why, why don't you talk to me like that no, I said, why you got to talk like that? Oh, yeah, you said, why you got to talk This is a very like- specific scenario that actually happened. Yeah. That we were in the car and, and someone she, called him. And she was like, why do you got to talk like that? And I'm like, like, what do you mean? I always talk like that. And then you were like, no, but you don't talk to... I remember you said you don't talk to me like that. Yeah, because I just and felt I just like, like you were putting on this persona, like you were being so extra with your friends. I'm like, And, I, and there's something very uh, icky about a guy when his like, whole type of demeanor and like not personality but sort of like changes just because he's talking to the guys you know no no i think you really had that in the moment i feel like you you grew since like you 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 learned that because i'm not going to talk to my friends actually i do i talk to my friends just like this except i say bro (laughs) true you know okay so now let's get into relationship loyalty because i feel like this one is the primary one people are thinking about when it comes to loyalty relationship okay like cool. romantic relationship partnership family oh family sorry marriage is <laughs> sorry. what i meant to say <laughs> okay um so what does it mean to be loyal in a relationship i feel like if you're in a monogamous like agreed upon monogamous relationship meaning that you are just with each other and not with anybody else hmm then loyalty the the main and biggest and obvious one is like you're not going to be with any other person have a relationship with any other person right or have sex with any other person yes i am so <laughs> loyal to you that i mean i feel like it kind of goes without saying right like in our relationship that i trust you 100 percent, you trust me 100 percent. right so it's like there's nothing and even actually, let's go a step further. No matter what you do, mm-hmm. I will be there. Mm. That's that's one person. Like, like, are we if, talking? Are we talking? I robbed the bank. We got to run away. Type yes, shit. Yes. Okay. Like you robbed the bank, and we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna. I'm mm. never. I'm never gonna say, Ali. Yeah, honestly, I'm out. Right. I that's mean, honestly, up. same. That's fucked up. If we drive somewhere. But if we got kids and you did some fucked up shit, I'm not going to go down with you because I got to take care of them. You know what I'm saying? We got to take all of them with us. What? <laughs> Just take all the kids. No, I think those those hypotheticals. Those hypotheticals, and, yeah. It's just like, obviously you want to do the right thing. But I'm saying if you did end up robbing a bank one day and you need my help to escape. Or like you... 
<laughs> I mean, there's so funny many to scenarios. Say, yeah, it's so funny to say you rob the bank and you need my help to escape. Of course, I'm going to help. <laughs> but you. also, like, who who has to deal with that? Who's listening to this podcast right now? Yeah, I know. Um, so I would say honestly, before we started recording this episode, I was really trying to think of like you know loyalty. Like, what does it mean for me in a relationship? There's the obvious ones with thing we just talked about of like mm-hmm. you know being monogamous. Like, what would I have to do? What would I have to do for you? To break the loyalty. To be like, you know what, Yoni? Peace out. I'm out. Well, I mean, first of all, I feel like I would break up with you before anything. That's the same as saying peace out. Yeah, so I wouldn't like be not loyal while we're still together is my point. Okay, but it's the same. You break the loyalty, which means we break up. That's where the loyalty ends. I'm confused. (laughs) How are you confused? You said, what would it take for me? What would it take you to do for me to break your loyalty? Mm-hmm. Or your loyalty. Or my loyalty, yeah. Oh, okay, and then you said you and would break I up. And I said that, no, but your question is, what would? what's the thing that would make me want to break my loyalty? And then I told you that... <laughs> you would break up? I would break up with you, but I think you're confused on your own question. Okay. I would break up with you before I would do anything unloyal. Okay, I get it. That's what I kept saying. You would break up with me. Yeah, but you're saying it as if I would break up with you because you're not loyal. Oh. But that's not your question. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Okay, well, shit, I mean. Like, basically, <laughs> I wouldn't I, be not loyal yeah. while we're together. Yeah. So the only time I would be not loyal is if we're just not together anymore hmm. yeah does that make sense yeah i mean if we're not together there's no point to be loyal because we're not <laughs> together. <laughs> i think we we're trying to squeeze the juice out of that that specific well, scenario it's just that question confused me but can yeah. i give i have a very specific okay. like i think a, it a, a more specific scenario that applies to people actually in a day-to-day life thing, okay right? give us give us a good story is sometimes right yoni and i hang out oh damn with, wait do i know what you're about to say i have no idea this okay. is this is live on the podcast okay you know? take it easy on me so yoni and i hang out with people right we go we chat we socialize we might go to like not necessarily a party we're not big party goers but we'll go somewhere where like let me just say are you giving real life scenarios because yeah you don't know who listens i'm not gonna say anyone's name or it's not about anyone it's about us oh it's about you actually (laughs) (laughs) so basically you guys know how i told you how yoni likes to leave me at parties right like (laughs) as if there's an audience they wouldn't be like yeah (laughs) do i hear yeah Yeah. so we go to like places where there's obviously a group of people you know you're about to socialize you're about to talk to people that you might not know that you might know catch up and when yoni and i go to those things usually he kind of just leaves me like he kind of just like leaves to like talk to people instead of like you know you start together you like say hi to this person but you're like saying hi to these people together not by yourself but Yoni likes to just go and do his own thing, you know. I don't like when you say Yoni likes to, but okay, continue. Yeah, you, know, you just you tend to. That's just what you do. So I assume you like to do that, since that's what you do. Because <laughs> if you didn't like it, you wouldn't do it, right? Okay, I'm, I just want to hear the story. So there's no specific story, except for, <laughs> for me, when we're in a specific, because loyalty to me in a relationship is like you having my back, right? Oh my god! Okay and you're about to say you're about to say i'm not loyal (laughs) no 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 no. and there's this thing that happens sometimes and i think loyal is maybe like used incorrectly in this scenario i don't know but there's this thing that happens sometimes it's like when you know there's this kind of flow that people get into like i get into it where you're talking to people you have this back and forth of like stories or silly things and you're just talking to other people but it's like we're talking together in a group me and you and then let's say we start talking about something like we're telling a story that we were both at or we are telling a story about us in our relationship or something where like we both know the story of like what happened. But you, you know, when you tell a story, you kind of like enunciate on certain details to make it more entertaining and stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. So sometimes this thing happens. And if you're in a relationship, let us know if this is something that you've experienced too. I don't, yo, yo, by the way. You have no idea what I'm going to say. <laughs> this took a turn. <laughs> so basically, sometimes 
one of the people in the relationship is going to like kind of make a joke on the account of the other person in the relationship and kind of make them look like not not that they're intentionally making them look like bad but sometimes they would like say something about them that it's like oh you know but then alia like she she went and did this and that and it's like you that person like keeps underlining how their partner like did this thing and it's like a little bit embarrassing for them Hmm. can i give you a scenario i wonder who i wonder if you did something to me or if i did something to you you did something to me so basically you only love to tell people how when we started dating i like two weeks in wanted to know like what wanted to have the what are we conversation oh okay oh my god that story i mean yoni loves telling the story about me like when we're talking about a relationship yeah but the thing is the amount of times and the way that you repeat it to people is really in a way to like kind of make a joke on my account it is it's not i think it's very cute and sweet babe but the way you do it it's like also because it's like a known thing and like the dating world and like just the, the the idea of dating is like that's something that if you have a girl who is like like that type of girl, it's like not a good look. That's not true. Who said that? Who said that's not a like what do you I don't get it. How is that not a good look? Like when you hear a Why story about be- somebody who is like two weeks into them just like talking, she's having the convers she wants to have the conversation of like what are we? That's not a good look. It's cute. It's not cute. Nobody thinks it's cute. Ask anyone. Anyone would be like, nah, that's a red flag. Red flag because she asked, what are we two weeks in? Yeah. Okay. Wouldn't you say that? I wouldn't say that. I think she's just falling in love, you know, and love is beautiful. See, you say that now because I'm backing you into a corner. No, but anyway, love so. Love is beautiful. There's no timing on love. You can fall in love in, in first date. Like, you forgot about love at first sight. Like, all of a sudden, that's not a thing. I don't believe in that. But that's another That's another. That's topic not, that's of another yeah that's another episode basically what i'm trying to say is that there's been a few that's like the most recent one but i, actually, I would say i remember when i did that yeah you remember that right yeah. and that night specifically there were like a few times where you kind of took like slight shots at me what to like to make it or at least that's how it translated on my side to kind of make it like you like made it was like you were you were being like jokey and entertaining on my account and to me, mm. you just don't do that. It's like you don't make your person, like, you don't make jokes on their account in that way that, that many times. Up. Right. Where it's like, to me, that's like, you're not having my back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, can I can I go? Go ahead. First of all, I, I didn't know I made you feel like that. Yeah, I actually never like brought this up until now because I didn't think about it again until we were talking about this episode. I didn't know that's how I made you feel, but then also you you know me well enough, right, to know that I don't purpose that I don't. Well, I'm struggling to say purposefully. Wait, purposely, I, I don't do it on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To make you feel however you felt. True. Now I know what you're about to say. That <laughs> night specifically right maybe you think that i did do it on purpose i mean you you did it you you said it on purpose because you said it obviously. but i think it's uh um, but you didn't know that it was going to land the way that it did to me exactly yeah and i also don't think that you're the type of person to get a feel some type of way about some type of stupid joke no like I'm, I'm really not i'm really not so i'm very surprised I'm, like i'm taken aback a little bit by <laughs> By by your response right now because I don't. Why this is this the, like a therapy session? No, no, but this is like actually happening in real life. I didn't know that. Yeah, I never really mentioned it. And and it's never good to make so like make fun of someone just to be entertaining. Yeah, but I would also feel like and I always hate when people do that. I agree with you. I hate when people like don't make fun of me to be entertaining to the to entertain the room. That's like yeah, so messed up. I know, but I feel like that rule is especially important in a relationship. Oh yeah, in, no, in any relationship, honestly, okay, and even friendships. Like true. I'm not even if it, it, let's say it's my friend here, right? And we're talking, and I'm just, oh yeah, you know, one time such and such did this, and I'm like making them feel. That's it's like not, you're telling a story good. that is like making them look 
like yeah, not that great. That's not that's not a good friend. And 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 I do want to apologize right here right <laughs> now because because I'm making it sound like is is it was it really bad or was it just no? Kind it wasn't of like, really bad, but it did it did like I, it just it's something that I took note of. Oh damn! Well, I didn't I didn't. Do and it also, purpose. it's because I feel like it's happened before. I think and I sometimes I'm sure I've done it too. You do it where, a lot. Where funny. I could tell after I was like done saying the story or like what I was t- saying about you, I could tell that it landed that way for you. Like just by the way you were like looking at me, you were like trying to move on from that conversation or that specific thing, but I was still like, ah, ha, ha, you don't need whatever. Yeah, yeah, you, you've done that before, but but I um, I don't get offended, honestly. That's and I'm not even saying that you get offended because you don't. No, I don't but think offended is the right word. I think it's more just like in the moment. Embarrassed, not embarrassed. It's like, yeah, it makes me feel like embarrassed. I don't feel embarrassed often enough for me, for like when you do that to mm-hmm. me, I kind of brush it off. I'm like, oh yeah, cool. Wow. That's, that, that, everybody loved that. But like, it does, it's not, yeah, but see, that's the thing. It's like, <laughs> you're like, everybody loved that. And then you would actually tell me later. You're like, babe, why did you have to tell him the story? Exactly. But but it's not that when you do that to me later, I would bring it up. I'd be like, why did you mention that I that this happened to me the other day? Yeah. But it's not even it's not even um coming from a place of you shouldn't have. It's more like no, it's okay. it's, it's more like you found a good piece there to, mm. to 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 have a funny, which I don't mind. Yeah, I really don't. Well, I don't know. I feel like that's one kind of. But to you, maybe it's a weaker point. Like it's a, it's it's more sensitive. Yes, point. because the whole scenario of like you know being a girl and uh, what are we thing. Yeah, I, I just it. feel like in specifically in that you kept repeating that, I and then did. we would like we we started talking about something else. Uh, and then, I brought and then it you back brought again. it back up again. I was like, bro, we yeah. get it, okay? I said it after two weeks, like, ooh, so funny. Like, ooh, I loved <laughs> you so much. No, and also, by the way, just, just it, it wasn't after two weeks. It was like three weeks. You no, know? it was two weeks. Okay, two weeks. But it's just, it's just the way, I don't know. So basically, moral of the story is I feel like, to me, having your person's back where like if somebody says some like messed up shit about your significant other and you're there you're not just gonna like laugh along it's like wait wait say that again if someone if no honestly i'm sorry yeah i was moving and shit yeah you're always moving (laughs) (laughs) if you're at a place where i'm not at Mm -hmm. and people are talking and then someone makes a joke on my account oh never never that Never that what? Never I would let a slide. I would like, never would let that say? slide. I would I would have your back all the way. Yeah. Only time I don't do that is when you're there and I'm just like clearly just poking at, at you a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's someone else like But I do it shit. I also do that out of the most like no, love. I know, it's not I know, malicious. I know, I know, I know. But sometimes but it's easy not- to get into a specific kind of like you know how you get in this groove in like social situations. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. not you. You as in everybody. Yeah. You know, I do that myself where sometimes you just feel like you, you just got this back and forth with whoever you're talking and you, to. And you're funny and you're feeling funny that night. Yeah, you're feeling funny. You're feeling silly. You're saying some stupid shit. And you you're know? cracking all the jokes and all the silly things you only did. Exactly. And sometimes you just like pile it on, pile and it honestly, on. Pile and honestly, I you, do that too. You do that more often than me. You are right. Alia does <laughs> that. I didn't want to bring it up earlier. Alia does that so many times, but it's... um. Okay, I don't do it so many times. But I, you do it often enough. Okay. Because I also do a lot of just funny shit, you know? So it's like, it's, so I get it, you know? And it never, it never, uh, actually, I'm happy that it, when you do it, I'm like, I don't know. There's something weird about, I love when, when people make fun of me. I don't mm-hmm. love when people make fun of me. But if I did something like funny or stupid and someone brings it up, first of all, I know that it was stupid. Or Sometimes I, it doesn't even have to be like no. very obvious. And I know silly. that it was funny, but I just, I'm a... I don't get offended like that. I like mm. I like that kind of humor. Not everyone is Yeah, not, no, not, I get it. Not like everyone a is good at humor. that. Yeah. Not everyone is like if I make a joke on your account. Yes. Yeah. A lot of people can't take that. Especially a lot of men can't take it. Yeah. You know, it's like yeah. it's like that macho thing. Yeah, there's this thing with like alpha males that if you're in a group and one of one of the the, the one of the bros out of the groups mm-hmm. makes makes fun of one of the other friends right, <laughs> right. well i'm struggling i don't know because 
a lot, basically a lot of people don't like being made fun of which is normal i don't know i feel like it's so but especially fun. men or actually women too yeah because mm. that was just an example of like, well no 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 i'm i'm somebody that is like always joking always like loves to like poke at people she and does like that. get poked at it's like it's actually my love my love language yeah exactly that's how i make friends like if i can tell that you can take my little like jokes and things like that i would like throw one in in there here and there to like see how you respond and if i can tell that it doesn't land right with you i'm like mm, okay that like that, there's like a a limit to our friendship mm. versus someone that can like take my little poking and, and thing and give, and it, right then back give to it, it back to me that's where i'm like we're gonna be good friends <laughs> honestly no no i like it i, I get it yeah that's it. yeah yeah anyways yeah. i mean i feel like that's kind of there's many scenarios so what, where you should be loyal in relationships that it doesn't have to do just with like cheating and stuff obviously like having the other person's back so i got a question for you okay so do you want me to stop making that joke about the two weeks thing um no because i mean it is true i just feel like that specific and this happened recently, so you're, that's why it's like fresh in my mind. You were just sensitive, I think, that night. No, you just kept saying it. And in the scenario, that? of in the context of what we were talking about, because we're talking about like our relationship and how it was. And there was like story upon story upon story of me wanting more and you not wanting me that way. And it just made me look desperate where it wasn't like that. But it's the way that you kept saying... Like you, we were talking about something and they just throw in the two weeks again. It's like, okay, bro, it wasn't two weeks. It was actually four months. But you just wanted to, to reference the two weeks again. And I was just like, okay, like we it's, we get it. It was oh, in that specific babe. scenario. I felt like it was too much. Yeah, it might have been too much. I don't know. I had, we were drinking wine and shit. Yeah, I mean, it's fine at this point. You know, you know, you know how sometimes you just get to talking and you just let shit fly? So you, that's what I mean. Out of all people, you should know that. I know that. I, I am the queen of letting shit fly out of my mouth when it's not the right time. Oh, my God. Yes. Which, which that will be its own episode because we got to talk about that. We have to talk about that. And, and I'm still, I don't know how to, like, I know how to. I don't know how to deal with it. Let's not talk about it ab- abstractly because people are going to be like, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, cool. That but, might be the next episode then. Yeah, because that, that would be a good one. I would feel very exposed. The next episode would be when you're in a group setting and your partner says some shit that, they, like were, that, the they, that they were not supposed to say and you're there in a the moment. And you know that they just said some stupid shit and, and everybody's looking at them like, what the fuck? Yes, and they only realized it as soon as they were done saying it. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they don't even realize it in the moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's when it's bad, when I have to bring it up when we get home, like, babe, so why did you say that? Yeah, that happens quite a lot and quite often. And we need to gather a few stories and examples yeah. so you can learn from my mistakes. And yeah, not but you know what? Like I love it. that about you. I just speak my mind. Yeah, see that? And it's not even, a, like, it's not even necessarily a bad thing. Alia would just, whatever she thinks, she will let you know and to be honest that's it's just honesty yeah but so is honestly always the best policy i don't know not always not always not always anyways thanks for listening today we are gonna close out um we hope that you know the first episode back with us on video if you're watching it was fun and entertaining um you know we're still we're still we're getting more accommodated you know this is a whole new yeah it's a whole it's a whole new couch um this is clearly empty we're gonna have a bunch of yeah. stuff on here it's not gonna stay white like this so this is not the finalized um version yeah 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 i mean we've got a long way to go you know an apartment coming together it takes like yeah. months and months and months so it does. we hope that you enjoyed today's episode uh we hope that you are good we're gonna bring back i know we got a few requests to bring back the like questions from you guys the q and a's at the beginning of the episodes or at no the at end. the end of the yeah. episodes yeah um we might even bring a confess your mess back if you guys know we haven't had those that haven't had one of those in like a year i don't even know if you're a new listener they might not know what confess your message well you met you better wait it for when it comes out yeah. <laughs> um that was yeah. fun we were getting some crazy ass stories yeah and i appreciate everyone if you're listening and you submitted a story mm-hmm. in the confess your mess era we're bringing that shit back and um, you better you better get your stories prepared yeah yeah but not yet not yet this yeah. is gonna be for like soon yeah yeah this is gonna be for like soon okay <laughs> <laughs> don't make fun of me <laughs> 
<laughs> Where's your loyalty, Alia? Okay, but bye. But yeah, we love you guys. Um, also, shout out to your dog. Shout out to... No, I get to say that. Well, you're taking forever to say shit. Okay, shout out to your dog if you're listening out there, if you're on a run, if you're walking with your dog somewhere. Um, yeah, it's hot in here, right? Yo, it's so hot in oh, here. Oh, by the way, right now, we're about to go outside and get a slice of pizza. Yep, that's like the most New York thing you can do, but it's because we didn't really have like real dinner, and also it's just really hot in this apartment, and I got to feel like some cold. <laughs> I know, me too. Oh like, I actually want to go outside with just a t-shirt. <laughs> Except it's like 45 <laughs> degrees out. That's fine. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we hope that you are enjoying the cozy season and the winter season and you are excited for, you know, the holidays, spending time with family and loved ones and eating hella good shit. And uh yeah. See you guys next week. Yeah, see you guys next week. I d- I wanna say something else, but like I don't have shit to say. Just say something. Um if you got to the end of this episode comment comment because we haven't done that since okay that's what i was about to say oh, okay sorry. <laughs> um if you got to the end of this episode and you're listening or you're watching on youtube mm-hmm. please comment two weeks no no oh. please comment we're back no that's so bad why well we're back <laughs> we're it's, back I, YouTube. the amount of times that i hear us saying we're back it's like every episode we're bad bitches okay so we should we no you guys should comment you guys sh- if you reach the end of the episode you should comment two weeks two weeks what it's like the the, the story with me like asking shit at the two week mark oh wow okay wow you totally didn't get that okay yeah yeah wow. so then like nobody would know what, so it's weeks? only if you listen to the end of the episode that you understand why you commented two weeks. So okay. that's how you know you listen to the end. Okay, okay, cool. Two weeks, everybody. I better see a million comments that says two, two weeks, weeks at the end. Yeah. All okay. Right. We love you. Bye, guys. Bye.